for me, Fred was always the number one. He's a Canadian icon and he's a hero of mine. He's a really gentle spirit. What I think of him is what everybody thinks of him. They just love him. <laughs> it's like you can't, you can't not love him. I think it'd be cool to get together with my friends who love Fred as much as I do and just have a big sing-along to songs that I love so very, very much. If it were in a bar and now I could have a beer and sing those songs, that'd be so cool. He's the best. I grew up with him and I'm really excited to see what his show looks like tonight. So you're adults, you're fans of Fred Penner. What do you call yourself? My dad would sing the sandwiches song with me all the time, and we'd play that in the car. And I would sing along to it, and I knew all the words when I was little. And I still pop it on in the car <laughs> every now and then. Generally, I kind of keep it a secret because Obviously, I'm 21 years old and I'm in college, and it's probably not the coolest thing to be singing along to Fred Penner when your friends are in the car. A lot of his original fans are at the stage now where they just really enjoy it again because it's it's both nostalgic and I mean, let's face it, he's awesome. He's he's a really great entertainer. Jam or ham or cucumber, any kind will do. I like sandwiches. How about oh, sandwiches? Look at the crowd tonight, it's like what we love. We just yearn for it, and it's like the classics. He doesn't even have to sing adult songs, we just love it. We love it. If I had a hundred sandwiches, I grew up with him as a part of my life. I mean, he was he was pretty much entertainment for me. Aha! I felt very much like, even though he wasn't in the room with me, that he was talking to me, and that I still felt that there was this insane connection with him. Good morning, are you happy today? If you found a log when you were a kid, the first thing you were doing is you were pretending you were Fred Penner, climbing over that log and making your way into the woods. Crawling through the log and being with a friend and sharing a song and a story was the sort of starting point of the, of the series that ran for almost a thousand episodes across Canada. It was sold in part to the United States to 50 million homes. The whole continent was, was just amazing and vibrant. Things were moving really quickly. You can do it if you try. You can do it if you try. You can do, 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 do it if you try. I believe I was six or seven, and my dad's probably gonna kill me for this, but, uh, cause I thought, wow, my dad never does anything like this. My dad is boring. Why can't Fred be my dad? You can do, 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 do it if you try. In 1997, I came in and I was told the series has been canceled. It was hard to deal with for a while because then it was, now, now what do I do? I knew I still had a lot of creativity, you know, in my soul. So I, I just continued to, you know, to play concerts and to be engaged. Sing, sing, sing. Everybody start to sing. My life, my life, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're singing with a swing. When the music goes around, everybody goes to town. But here's something you should know. Whoa, whoa, baby, whoa. Inevitably, people look back at what their influences were. So this flood of email was starting to come to me from across the country saying, oh yeah, I remember you and I remember the values that seemed to come from your series. And I thought, well, maybe there's something to pursue there. Now you're singing with a swing. Now you're singing with a swing. Now you're singing with The uh, grown-up shows, the venues are small watering holes to larger spaces, and I played from, from Halifax to Victoria, and on every place in between, to the same kind of response. Oh, man. 
It's not every day you tell your boss you're going to be tired of work because you went to a Fred Fender concert, I tell you. He's gorgeous. I, I wish that one day that I can have a beard like Fred Fender. <laughs> With a lot of people, especially children's entertainment these days, it feels like there's a two-sided nature to it, whereas Fred is just all love all the time. You know, it just feels so genuine that you just can't help but your heart be warmed by it. You've got to be proud of the people around you, proud of the things that you do. Proud of your dreams and feelings inside, never afraid to let them shine through. No, never afraid to make them come true. I was actually singing the song Proud Today, and it's still important to be proud of who you are and because I work with the pride community a lot now more than ever it's important to be proud of who you are and own who you are and I think his messages within his songs are pretty much eternal they're still relevant today as they were when I was six years old proud still makes me cry because I connect to it and it's it's an important message you've got to be proud Ladies and gentlemen. You pitch it to the audience. What do you want to hear? Sandwiches, Cat Came Back. Those are the top two requests. The bar staff would like to hear sandwiches. Well, you only get that once a night, so... Uh... And then sometimes it, it'll, it'll get very young, where people say, can you do I Had a Rooster? Can you do This Old Man, Knick Knack, Patty Whack, Give a Dog a Bone? When I hear that, it's... Okay, so we, we're going to uh, a, a deeper primal therapy than, than I had thought. You really want to reconnect with that inner child. I certainly honor and, and get excited w when that happens. Go oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard. A discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day Singing home, home on the range where the tea It's like seeing these adults turn into children again. There's that same sort of sparkle in their eye and just that, that childlike awe seeing Fred Penner again. It, it take, for me anyway, it takes me right back to, to when I was a child and it just it transports me back to, to being a kid again. You seem to be having a good time so far. That's a nice thing. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, then I'll have to run, run, run. That happens along the way where people will come up and say, hey, Penner, come on, swear for me. But, but no, that, that's not what the grown-up show is all about. But, but there is still that little prod of, does Fred Penner drink? You know, so I, whatever, whatever that is, you know, the, the, the illu they, they want to break the illusion of, uh, of, of, this, of this, this perfect human being. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've lost my mind, apparently. a goner but the king he just couldn't stay away all right get those phones going i want this posted before midnight when i play the campuses the university students come and let me know that something that i did helped them get into their occupation their path uh, one fellow recently was saying that he went into forestry that he's now out in the woods he said that he remembers me going through a field and, and the whole natural environment that Fred Penner's place had, he related to that. Give me that meow. When everyone would sing along, it was sort of like 
we all got to be a part of the music as opposed to just listening to it on a, on a tape. And that's actually something that's really influenced me. Uh, when I do my musical comedy, I get people really involved. I actually get them to heckle me because it's really important for me to have the audience be part of the show and not just sit there and experience it. So everyone there is, is a part of it, and that's something that I got from Fred Penner for sure. As you reach your adulthood and you're, you're looking at the daunting possibility of where your life is going, and because of the media, the social media, you're made aware of every single devastating thing that's happening on this planet instantly. And perhaps going back to your formative years, to the things that influenced you, really do have value. Check out the cat in the bucket. It was so good. It was so good. We had the giant argument over which song was our favorite before it started. Yeah, this like cat came back. Way earlier. Sandwiches. Cat came back. Cat. Cat. Can we get a picture with you? Certainly. We love you. Hey, it's amazing to have seen you throughout all these years. <laughs> You made me cry three times. Three times. It was the best. Oh, was the best. oh shoot. What? Can we can we have our photograph? Yeah. But but can we be staring into each other's eyes? Ooh, at the same like time. Like this? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Mark. Mark. And uh, you, you set me right from 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 the from the youth. Well, all right. And, uh, you learn you learn the lessons. That's the idea. Yeah, hey, you really really thanks so much. You just bring so much joy. It's so peaceful. Well, it's a, it's a two-way street. I started playing guitar because of you. All right, I'll take, I'll, I'll take, I'll take a picture of it. They are so excited about making the connection, reconnection with me, telling me their stories, expressing how they feel I may have influenced their, their life, playing guitar or going into early childhood education or, or whatever it is they're doing in their world, um, and attributing some of that to me and I think well okay if that's what you you think I I'm honored to accept that it's it, that's a little overwhelming to, to think of it in those terms it's a little bizarre but it's really a it's a beautiful thing don't you think with apologies and thanks to Kevin from chaos and a big thanks to Ray Charles from God. And I know you musicians out there are wondering how on earth can Fred put all those songs together in a big medley? Well, quite simply, it's because it's the same chord progression. All right, you got your phones going. Don't lose it. The chords quite simply are E minor, D, C, B7. E minor, D, C, B7. You got that? And recently, with a slight timing variation on this progression, this song came out. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the cat you love and hold her tight, happy together. If I should pick you up, invest the time and you say you belong to me and meow my mind imagine how the world would be so very fine happy together oh i can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life when you're with me baby the skies will be blue for all my signature. children